I had got an email one morning, I woke up and um, I had got an email from uh, a gentleman named Victor from um, the Grenoble Street Art Movie Fest um, saying that he found me online. Um, they were impressed by my uh, uh, trailer for the Art of uh, Hustle documentary and um, he checked out my artwork and um, wanted to know if I wanted to be a part of the uh, Grenoble Street Art Festival, movie fest actually. And I was kind of like taken aback. I had just woke up, so it's kind of like, is this is this real? Is somebody you know, is somebody got trolling? Um, and um, I emailed back, and um, it actually was uh, legit. So from that from that point on, uh, I just said, you know what, I'm gonna go down to France and um, see what we can do, and um, go down there and uh, you know, mingle with the people, uh, make my presence felt, uh, let people actually get to see uh, me as an artist and a filmmaker, and. Um, you know, take it from there. And once I got there, it was all I expected to be. The culture there, the art culture there is so different from America, where it's a uh, uh, street art is actually embraced. I mean, you can go out there in Grenoble, France, and see street art or graffiti on like a luxury apartment, and it doesn't bother anybody. So I was just fascinated walking through that city and seeing so much um, artwork and street art and graffiti work and people looking at it and embracing it. It just let me know that what I'm doing is appreciated somewhere in this society and somewhere in this world. And um, that was enough for me. That was enough confirmation for me. When I, when I, when I got back uh, to uh, California, Palm Springs, um, I, I had so many uh, ideas running through my head, so many things I wanted to do, so much creativity that I wanted to just express. So I could see my work from here uh, just getting better and better and better, um, just based off these experiences that I'm uh, I'm having the uh, blessings to um, actually have. We went up a hill, maybe about, it was about maybe like a 15, 20 minute walk where we went up to this abandoned, like, um, I think the gentleman that, it was a nice gentleman that uh, escorted us there. I think he said it was like a um, empty, uh, like institute or some, what have you. And I, and this building was huge, um, it, it, it was huge. So when I walked in, I, this place had paint wall to wall. I don't think it was an empty spot um, that you could paint on in this whole building. This building was massive and it sat on this hill. And um, just the experience to be up there and actually uh, being an artist from Palm Springs, California and being able to go up there and paint and um, leave, you know, a Tyson Knight mark on Grenoble, France um, was a great experience. What I did was I did one of my um, signature pieces, which is um, black silhouette palm trees with uh, cubism around it, different colors. And then I crossed that out and then I put Palm Springs, California. And I put thanks uh, Tyson Knight. I put that on there just to give them a feel of where I'm coming from so they can tie that back to uh, Tyson Knight and Palm Springs. So that was actually probably the defining moment of my trip. Uh, to Grenoble, France and the Street Art Fest and the Street Art Movie Fest. At the film festival, I, I, I spent a lot of time just taking in the scenery, um, seeing how other uh, uh, artists interacted, um, really, really, really taking in the art culture there. Like that's something that really, really resonated with me. Just soaking all that up. Like we call it back here in the States, soaking up game. I just was soaking trying to absorb all the nuances because I think in the, in, you find genius in nuance. So I was just trying to uh, soak up the uh, all the nuances for that little short time, that that art culture there and, and trying to hold on and grasp that and bring that back here and um, and implementing that into my into my lexicon of artwork. And then just to see the trains going by with the, with the graffiti on it and and just you know, people riding bicycles and, and, and people walking a lot. And uh, it just was this calm, um, nonchalant um, attitude. And, and I think that's what's needed now, and especially in America and in the times we're in now where everything is so uptight, uh, people are divided. Um, I think art, I think art could, could, could change a lot in, our, in America. Um, I think art is love. And I think that if we were able to uh, uh, get to a point where it's embraced all genres of art is embraced, I think that we'll be able to um, cultivate a, a spirit of love and um, peace 
I think sometimes we uh, we get caught up in uh, worrying about what other people perceive us or think about the things that we do. One thing I, I've learned is that anything you do in life will be judged. Um, as long as you're doing it with a pure heart and through love, um, I think that um, you're ahead of the game.